Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com out here for another gear review and today I'm talking rangefinders, this guy right here, which is the Kilo 5K by Sig Sauer. So what is it? Shocker, it is a rangefinder, but there's some pretty cool stuff built into it. So if you're like, hey, I want to shoot around over that saddle and be like, okay, hero. And then I tell you it's 593.8 yards, 20 degree incline, hold 3.8 mils for what this was actually synced to. And then aim a foot over the top and it'll go over. You're like, how did it know I want to shoot a bullet over that mountain? No idea. You're also like, how did it know all of those things? Well, there's some magic going on in here. On the one hand, laser rangefinder. Shoots a laser, comes back, and it does some fancy math, and it says, hey, that's 530 yards away, or meters, depending on how you set it up. But this is giving me some other information in there, like declination, whatever that may be, to include a ballistic solution. So this thing has some pretty cool stuff it does. There's a bunch of cool kind of little features, stats, blah, 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 this and that. We'll get to those in a minute. Let's jump right into how do we make this thing do rad stuff? Well, we're going to need information for that, mainly velocities. So this ultimately ends up pairing through Bluetooth with your phone through the SIG BDX app. It is running a version of applied ballistics, ballistic solution software. But we need to start with a known good so that we can end up with a known good. So the way that works is collecting some velocity data. The way I usually do it is I'll use a magneto speed and whatever gun I'm gonna use, go ahead, put that magneto speed, shoot probably at least like five rounds, see what kind of spread I get, what kind of velocities, and I'll take that average, and then I'll go over and actually input it into the app. So I'll go through, I'll name the gun, I will pretty much fill out all that pertinent information to that gun and set up that as a profile inside the app. Once that's paired with this, this is paired to that gun. So you've set up the profile for whatever gun. You can have numerous different guns. I have my mini fix and 556, different stuff in there. But paired this with that specific gun so that I could get a solution for shooting that gun. So then the way it works, really simple. Go figure out what target you want to shoot, laze it, get your ballistic solution, and fire away. This bank of targets is... ...440 yards away. It's giving me a come up of 2.6 mils. No wind hold. First round hit. First round hit. Above and left, the last targets. 682 yards, 5.9 mil. Next bay of targets past it, 500 yards. yards, 1.2 mils.
it is honestly that simple and it's really cool because you're like cool there's my target 188 yards 0.3 mrad done hold 0.3 or dial if that's what you're going to do and send it easy and so you're totally taking a step out of the old equation of using a rangefinder figuring out how far it was then pulling up your ballistic app on your phone or maybe you have a little cheat sheet like taped to the stock of your rifle and you look at it and you're like hmm what was that 188 yards well i have 200 and i have 100 so it's probably closer because you probably don't have 188 yards written on there or it would be a laundry list taped to your stock and yeah totally getting rid of that step so now range your target whatever it may be immediately come back with a shooting solution that you can action whether you want to dial or hold depending on kind of whatever you're running exposed to it's not first focal plane all of those things if you don't necessarily appreciate how amazing that is right there you've probably never been hunting because shot window opportunities are usually pretty small the last thing you want to be doing is lazing something trying to do math in your head or pull up your phone that's already screen locked and you're trying to get to your ballistic app and then scroll through because they're in like every five yard increments and then you miss that shot opportunity this alleviates that it's pretty cool or if you're just shooting prs gaming just out having fun whatever it is really really handy like really handy can you get into trouble with it you can where that can happen is actually my youngest son his first deer hunt this last year we're out there had this paired up to the mini fix in 556 and it's like okay cool lays it but it's like 150 yards so i don't need to give him a correction i don't need to dial anything because we're talking about a bullet impact of like this from where it's zeroed to 150 yards so is that okay do i need to like further be like oh hey hold like point this versus like hey you're shooting for the lungs so hold where you were gonna hold and give me a good trigger press so yes you can get usually at those shorter distances where you're like oh man like what do i need to hold like no just send it unless it's a really really small low probability shot just send it Oh yeah, he got him. He's toast. As far as the unit itself, back here, flip this up, twist it. That's the battery compartment. Uses a CR2 battery, I want to say. And I think you get basically about 4,000 ranges. This is still going on the first battery. Up top is your range. So you're looking through there, click that. And then over here is your mode. Hold that down and you'll start going through different modes. And with that, you can adjust the eyepiece back here if you want to. And magnification, it is seven power. Part of me is like, why not make it 10? But then the problem you run into is you see all of that. It's bad enough at seven. Seven's like, seven's a pretty good spot as far as magnification. But yeah, some pretty neat stuff this will do. On the one hand, just the distance this laser can range is pretty impressive. As far as stats, it says it'll range a deer at 2,000 yards, it'll range trees at 2,500 yards, and a reflective, max reflective distance, 5,000 yards. Is that realistic? No. On two fronts. One, you're not shooting a deer at 2,000 yards. Two, mm, I have yet to be able to like get it to read that far away even cut that in half which obviously it's more than half still really really far so yeah you can pretty much range almost anything with this so the big rock face jutting out 
not very reflective. But off of the trees up top, it is 1,563 yards. There's the one even further back. Mm, nope, no love. That's pretty far away. Some other kind of cool things is just the magic math that it does. So it is taking into account angle because if you're shooting down at something or if you're shooting up at something, those are not the same ballistic solutions as shooting flat that same distance. It's a bunch of math. Really what it comes down to is how long gravity has an effect on that while it's moving down or up conversely. Again, a lot of math, but this will give you those ballistic solutions, taking that into account, which is pretty cool. And if you use the base map app, I think it is, you can actually set waypoints with this thing too, which is kind of cool, especially if you need to go find game and you're going to go down and up the other side of a draw. Probably want to know where that is other than just like, eh, pretty sure it was that tree. Again, pretty cool. As far as the unit itself, I think it weighs about seven and a half ounces. Pretty handy, pretty compact. Uh, it comes with a little case. Usually I'll end up going ahead, throwing it around my neck. I'll just wear it on its lanyard and call it good. If you're looking for a rangefinder that can do some pretty cool stuff, I would encourage you to check this out. Again, it's kind of only as good as the information you put in. I will say there are actually, I think seven or eight different like presets. So think like 243 or 30 odd six, where you can actually select, hey, I want preset number this. So if you don't actually, or don't have the ability to pull your velocities for your gun that you're shooting and put them into the app, then you can use a preset and honestly it'll probably get you fairly close if you want to squeeze all the performance out get those velocities put it into the app and then pair this then you have like pretty awesome ballistic solutions for all your shooting and things pretty cool price wise i want to say around 760 like full msrp you can usually find in places less than that but I've been really pleased with it. It has definitely helped me and my boys out hunting and yeah, just fun to take and shoot out at the range as well. So overall, pretty cool range finder. And lastly, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, I greatly appreciate it. One of the ways is supporting me through Patreon. Little as a dollar a month helps me go out, create more content for you, gets you early access to videos, as well as exclusive stuff and answers to questions. If you have questions for me, happy to answer them. Over there we have active discord and yeah, pretty good group of people. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.